In the ever-evolving world of artificial intelligence, there's a new player in town, and its name is Claude 2.1. And if you've ever used its predecessor, Claude 2.0, you may already be familiar with its capabilities as a formidable chatbot powered by a significant language model. However, Claude 2.1 has taken things to a whole new level, and in this comprehensive exploration, we'll delve deep into its latest features and functionalities. But before we proceed, remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It's completely free. Claude 2.0, developed by the company Anthropic, made waves in the AI world by securing significant funding from tech giant Amazon. It quickly established itself as a worthy competitor to the well-known GPT series of chatbots. But now, Claude 2.1 is here to redefine the game with innovations that have never been seen before in the realm of AI chatbots and large language models. Before we take Claude 2.1 for a test drive, let's explore some key advancements that set it apart from its predecessor and other competitors in the field. 1. A remarkable 200,000 token context window. Perhaps the most groundbreaking update in Claude 2.1 is its impressive 200,000 token context window. To put this into perspective, in non-technical terms, that's the equivalent to 150,000 words. This massive context window allows users to upload documents for analysis, summarization, and interaction. Imagine working with up to 500 pages of content whether a financial statement like an S1 document, an entire code base, or even a full-length book. Claude 2.1 can summarize this content, answer questions, and even forecast trends with financial data. To appreciate the significance of this update, consider that Claude 2.0 had a context window of only 12,000 tokens, while even the latest GPT-4 models offer just 8,000 tokens. Claude 2.1's 200,000 token context window places it in a whole new league. 2. A 50% reduction in hallucination rates. One of the common issues users encounter with AI chatbots is the tendency to generate inaccurate or fabricated information known as hallucinations. In Claude 2.1, this problem has been significantly addressed with a remarkable 50% reduction in hallucination rates compared to its predecessor. Users can now rely on Claude 2.1 for more accurate and trustworthy responses. 3. Enhanced intelligence and reduced incorrect answers. Claude 2.1 boasts improved intelligence, resulting in a 30% reduction in incorrect answers. This means the chatbot is more likely to provide accurate and relevant information in response to queries. The advancements in Claude 2.1's capabilities are evident in test results that showcase its impressive performance. 4. Advanced Developer Tools and User Interface Claude 2.1 introduces an advanced developer experience with its revamped console and workbench interface. This intuitive design facilitates easier testing, prompt iteration, and efficient management of multiple projects. Developers and users alike will find the interface user-friendly, making navigating and executing complex tasks more straightforward. 5. Improved honesty and factualness in responses. A significant improvement in Claude 2.1 is its enhanced sense of honesty and factualness. The model is designed to be more forthright about the absence of supporting text information, reducing the tendency to affirm claims without basis or fabricating responses. This enhancement is particularly valuable in tasks requiring high levels of accuracy, such as legal document analysis or technical summarization. 6. Competitive pricing for broader accessibility Claude 2.1 is not only about advanced features, but also about accessibility. Its competitive pricing structure at $0.008 per 1,000 token inputs and $0.024 per 1,000 token outputs positions it as a cost-effective solution. This feature is a game-changer, but it's worth noting that it's exclusive to Claude Pro, which is available for $20 per month. This pricing model democratizes access to advanced AI technology, making it affordable for a broader range of users and industries, from small startups to large corporations. 7. Versatility across different applications. 
The model's versatility is another crucial aspect. Claude 2.1 is designed for many applications, extending its usability beyond business and academia. Its enhanced comprehension and summarization abilities make it a reliable tool for creative fields such as content creation, artistic endeavors, and innovative research. 8. Integration with existing workflows and applications Claude 2.1 is not just a standalone tool, it's built for integration. With API tool use capabilities, it can be seamlessly incorporated into existing applications and workflows. This integration enhances Claude 2.1's practicality in various real-world applications, making it a versatile tool for users who need to embed AI capabilities into their existing systems. Isn't it amazing how Claude 2.1 reshapes how we interact with AI? It's not just a chatbot, it's a versatile tool that opens up new possibilities in many fields. So now that we've explored these exciting updates, let's take Claude 2.1 for a test drive to see how it performs in real-world scenarios. Getting started with Claude 2.1. To experience Claude 2.1 firsthand, visit https colon slash slash claude.ai where the new model 2.1 is available for testing. Whether you're a seasoned user or new to Claude, it's worth witnessing the impressive enhancements. As a user, you'll find a user-friendly interface with a message input box and the option to upload files. Claude 2.1 accepts various file formats, including CSV, PDF, and text files, with a maximum size of 10 megabytes per file. Users often report better results with text files and CSV files, making it a versatile tool for data analysis. Test 1. Summarizing a large document We'll upload a substantial document for our first test, approximately 50,000 to 70,000 words in length. In the past, users had to break down such documents into smaller segments due to limited context windows. However, with Claude 2.1's impressive 200,000 token context window, we can generate a one-paragraph summary of the entire document. Claude 2.1 informs us that processing may take a few moments upon initiating the request. Surprisingly, in just 12 seconds, it provides a comprehensive one-paragraph document summary. It identifies the document as a guide on generative AI, mentioning tools like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Dall-E, and more. The accuracy of this summary demonstrates Claude 2.1's ability to handle substantial amounts of text efficiently. Test 2. Analyzing Document Content Our next test involves analyzing the document's content to determine its intended audience. This task requires Claude 2.1 to access the document's content and tone to make an accurate assessment. Once again, Claude 2.1 impresses with its capabilities. It takes approximately 20 seconds to conclude that the document is intended for individuals new to generative AI who wish to learn how to use these tools for personal or professional projects. The accuracy of this assessment showcases Claude 2.1's improved understanding of context and audience. Test 3. Comparing to GPT-4 In our third test, we compare Claude 2.1 to GPT-4, a straightforward question that any AI chatbot should handle effectively. However, here we encounter a limitation. Claude 2.1 informs us that it cannot make accurate comparisons with GPT-4 and provides a general response about its purpose. This decline to answer is a reoccurring issue and is frustrating for users. While Claude 2.1 has improved accuracy in its responses, it tends to decline specific queries, affecting its overall usability for some tasks. Test 4. Analyzing Financial Data Moving on to a more data-centric scenario, we test Claude 2.1's capability to analyze financial documents. We upload a dataset related to the S&P 500, and ask it to identify the top 10 companies based on market capitalization, within the context of the record. Claude 2.1 takes approximately 10 seconds to provide a response, correctly identifying the top 10 companies. However, it repeats one company twice, which is a minor issue. The model also displays some incorrect market cap figures, but upon closer inspection, this discrepancy is due to inaccuracies in the dataset rather than the fault of Claude 2.1. Conclusion. 
In conclusion, Claude 2.1 represents a significant leap forward in AI chatbots and large language models. Its extraordinary 200,000 token context window sets a new standard for working with extensive documents and data analysis. The substantial reduction in hallucination rates and improved intelligence make Claude 2.1 a more reliable and accurate tool for various tasks. However, Claude 2.1 still needs help with certain queries, leading to declining responses. Users may find other chatbots like ChatGPT or Bard more suitable for straightforward Q&A tasks. Nevertheless, Claude 2.1 excels in summarizing and analyzing text and performing data-driven tasks. As the AI landscape continues to evolve, Claude 2.1 stands as a powerful and promising addition, offering new possibilities for research, data analysis, and content summarization. Its unique features and improvements make it a valuable tool for users seeking advanced AI capabilities. Whether you're a seasoned AI enthusiast or just curious about the latest advancements, Claude 2.1 is undoubtedly worth exploring. Visit https colon forward slash forward slash Claude dot AI to take it for a test drive and experience its capabilities firsthand. Kudos for making it all the way through. You're a superstar. And as always, drop a Claude in the comments to let us know that you watched the whole video. Aren't waiting for more exciting content? Our upcoming video is sure to wow you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you've enjoyed our time together. Continue being extraordinary and we'll see you in our next video.